Hey everyone, I'm Katie and this is South Island Kitchen. If you're looking for some tasty recipes to serve to your family and friends, you've come to the right place. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to show you how to make a very easy, very yummy, throw together crispy chicken casserole. My kids love this recipe, my husband loves it, and it's just so comforting on a cold winter day. This recipe only needs five ingredients. Some crispy chicken strips, some cheddar cheese, a couple of bags of instant mashed potatoes, a jar of chicken gravy, and a can of corn. That's all you need. Now I'm gonna show you how to put it together. Hi Moose. Are you gonna help me tell them what the next step is? No? I'm gonna go take a nap? Favorite activity? Yeah? All right, okay. You go enjoy your nap. Our first step is to line a baking tray with foil and place all of your crispy chicken strips on the tray. I've already preheated the oven to 400 degrees, so I'm gonna throw these in and the bag says to bake them for 18 minutes and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. While the chicken is baking, I went ahead and shredded two cups of cheddar cheese. We like to use these Idahoan baby red mashed potatoes, the instant kind. They're just super easy to throw together. So just dump them in our bowl, both bags. And I've boiled four cups of water in my kettle. So we're gonna dump on those four cups of water. So it's steamy. And then we're just gonna give those a whisk until they're the right consistency. This chicken just came out of the oven and it smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of this up into bite-sized pieces. And then I'm gonna show you how to assemble the casserole. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to assemble the casserole. We're gonna start with mashed potatoes, then we're gonna do chicken, then corn, then cheese. Okay, we're ready for the oven. We're gonna bake it for about 15 minutes at 400 degrees, just until the cheese melts. The chicken's fully cooked, the potatoes are nice and hot already, so really we're just melting the cheese and kind of heating up the corn. We heat up our gravy in the microwave for a couple minutes until it's really hot, and then we pour it all over. So good. I thought it might be fun to teach you guys another dessert recipe. So we're gonna make some blueberry cobbler. You're gonna need milk, oats, flour, sugar, frozen blueberries, butter, cinnamon, salt, baking powder, and cornstarch. All right, in a large saucepan, I'm gonna go ahead and combine three cups of bl frozen blueberries. And then I'm going to add two thirds of a cup of sugar I'm also going to add a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna stir that all up and I'm gonna wait for it to come to a boil. Once it is boiling, I'm going to add a cornstarch and water mixture to help our filling thicken up. All right, now that the blueberries have started to boil, I'm gonna add in one cup of cold water mixed with three tablespoons of cornstarch. This is gonna thicken up our cobbler mixture. We're gonna give it a stir. 
and we're gonna let that come back to a gentle boil and then it is ready. The filling is nice and thick now, so I'm going to spray the pan and dump in the filling. For the topping, I'm going to use this small bowl and I'm going to add one and a half cups of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to whisk that up and then I'm going to add a few more ingredients. Next, we're gonna add in a half cup of cold butter. I've cut it into smaller pieces. And we're going to cut that in. And then, once we get this into kind of a, like a coarse crumb, then I'm gonna add in half a cup of cold milk. I'm gonna stir this up, and this will be our biscuits for the top of the cobbler. Time to put our biscuit topping on the cobbler. Now, in case I forgot to mention before, this is the first of two toppings that we're gonna put on our cobbler tonight. And this is the biscuit topping. The next topping is more of like a crumb. For our second topping, we're gonna do 1 8 of a cup of flour a tiny pinch of salt, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth of a cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of oats, and two tablespoons of butter. And now I'm going to mix that all up. All right, we're gonna get our hands in there and start to sprinkle the second topping all around the biscuits. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. I can't wait to eat it. I'm gonna serve this, of course, with vanilla ice cream. You have to have vanilla ice cream when you have cobbler. I mean, come on, right? Cobbler just wouldn't be cobbler without vanilla ice cream. Okay, just like that. Now, I'm going to throw that in the oven and I'm gonna do 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll try out this recipe. Please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the bell, you'll know when I've shared another recipe. See you next time.